All right, so I'm here with Liz. Liz, how old are you? 34. Are you originally from Arizona? Yeah. What part of AZ? Um, East Phoenix. East Phoenix? Mm -hmm. What's your current situation right now? Are you homeless? Mm, kind of. I mean, I work. Um, Do you have a spot to stay at though? Yeah, every day. I mean, I get, I'm from room to rooms. Um, what do you do out here to survive? Um, I do online. Okay. And how is that type of work? Is it dangerous? Yeah, it can be. How dangerous is it? Mm, well, you don't know if you're going to walk out of those doors. But when you go in, you can either get killed or go to jail, one of the two. It's a risk you take, I guess. Yeah. How long have you been doing this type of work? Mm, seven years. Seven years? Since you were how old? What, like, 24? Around there. And how did you get into the lifestyle? Just running the streets. How was like your childhood growing up? Did you have both parents when you were growing up? No, I was raised with my, by my grandparents, so yeah. Was there any like trauma as a child? Was there any abuse, anything like that? No. What got you into running the streets? I guess the freedom of my grandparents letting me do whatever I wanted, I guess. Yeah. So there was no like discipline at home? No, none. No. But what did you find attractive about the street life? The money, the freedom, I guess. Mm. So you're out here working. Do you work with a manager or do you work for no, yourself? I work for myself. Have I mean, ever, I have, yeah. You have you worked with a manager before? Yeah, with the pimp, yeah. How was that experience? Horrible. Did you seek a person or um, did you just kind of come across someone? At first I started by myself and then like everybody started seeing how much money I make and like they kind of like would, would force themselves on me and like I wouldn't want to and like I I found someone at the end because I couldn't get everyone else off of me and in order to get everyone else off of me I had to get someone I guess you could say. So you had a bunch of people just hitting you up? Like guys like like pimps and stuff like were trying to make me choose up with them and I wouldn't. Yeah. And the only way to keep them away is if I chose up with someone, so I did. What does that mean when you say choose up? Like, basically, um, give yourself to them, I guess you yeah. could say. How long were you working with the pimp? Maybe about five months. Five months? And throughout your whole career, it was only those five months that you worked with the pimp? Um, no, I had another one. And I got several of them, but like short term, that, that was the longest one. Yeah. Like the other ones were like maybe like a week, two weeks, like but nothing serious. So have you always worked online or have you worked on the track? I worked on the track too, actually this track. This track right here? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to other tracks like in LA, um, Texas, I or? I worked in LA, I worked Baltimore, I worked Seattle. Um, Were you traveling by yourself or? With the pimp. With the pimp. Was it you just? Just me, yeah. You or did he have like a stable? No, just me and him. Okay. I mean the one that I was with for five months, yeah, he had like a, a six, seven girls. And. How do they accomplish that to get so many girls under them? I don't know. Like, tell them what they want to hear. I don't know. What kind of stuff do they tell you that you guys want to hear? I don't know. Just like, I don't know. Just finesse you. I don't know. Yeah. Is it like um, kind of like brainwashing? Kind of. Yeah. Is it because... The girls that are just looking for love, they're looking for like... Uh, that's part of it. Yeah. That's a big part of it, but yeah. Is it mainly girls that grew up without a father? Mm, yeah, you can say yeah. 
So they're looking for like that fatherly love or what? Yeah. Okay. Um, what's one of the worst experiences you went through working out here on the track? Mm. I was actually raped here in the same track for seven hours by someone and he actually was seeking me out and he raped me for seven hours and at the end he was telling me how he's gonna kill me and I don't know how in the hell I did it but I in some way managed to escape naked and just ran I, like I thought my life was gonna was gonna in there and I guess that's I, I can say that was the worst like it took me a minute like you never get over it but you get past it does that make sense yeah when that happened did you go report it to the police why didn't you report it because I'm out here working the streets what am I gonna tell the cops I'm out here and this happened no you can't just go to the cops and tell them you know what I was sorry and just this like What's your opinion about legalizing or decriminalizing this sort of work? Um, it will be a lot safer for everyone, I know that, if they did. A lot more structure, more safer. I mean, they're gonna do, we're going to do it either way, like, yeah. with or without the law's permission. The exactly. money's good. I make maybe up to a rack a day, every day. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna stop this, not anytime soon at least. I, I live a good life. I haven't get everything I want and need. Like, I stay in fucking $400 rooms. Yeah. So right. what does make, what does that income mainly go to? Rooms, clothes. Cause a rack a day is a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, just fuck it off, I guess. Yeah. So you just go out and buy whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Because I know I just like I get it, I could yeah. do it again. I can't say when I'm gonna stop. Mm -hmm. Do you still have both your grandparents? No. no. That's when I started doing after they died. I started doing okay. all this. But. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. But, um, do you have any other? family members like siblings or anything like that um yeah but i really don't talk to my family because i it's just me against the world i guess you can say so they don't know what you're doing out here no well yeah they know i've, I've kept it up i've been always been honest with my family they know what i'm doing i don't hide it from them just yesterday or the day before my aunt, my friend calls me telling me that my aunt was looking for me i guess they had missing posters of me they thought i was dead somebody at home i got killed i don't know what uh, so and yeah. what does your tia tell you about you doing this to sort stop. of work? Yeah. Have you ever had someone else in your family do this type of work no. or anything like that? No. What about like um, substances? Do you mess with any substances? Yeah, I do clear, but that's it. Like, gee, but they don't control me. I don't do it every day. I mean, every now and then, but. Every now and then? But that's it. I mean, I'm not on blues like a lot of these people out here. I would be stupid if I did. Like the majority of Yeah, people, a right? lot of these people are stuck on blues. Like, their whole life is controlled by them. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's something I refuse to put, do to myself. So what's up with the high heels? Oh, I went to go pick them up at a friend's. I had left them there. Okay. Do you wear those at when you're walking the track? Yeah. Yeah. I wear them just normally, like. So, what kind of guys like use your services? All sorts of guys. You'd be surprised. Is it like professional guys or just like anywhere from professional workers? to construction to doctors to lawyers to guys that sell drugs? Everyone. You've had doctors and lawyers. Yes. Too. What about um, like uh, politicians? Um, yeah, I had one. At one point. Yeah. That's crazy. You'll yeah. be surprised everybody buys people whether they admit it or not. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter, huh? I even had priests buy my services. Priest? Yeah. Like the ones at church? Yes. That's crazy. I'm not gonna say no their money, like. And what do they say after they do it? 
I don't know. The, the, they they just leave. They, do they probably do. Go say how many Hail Mary. I don't know. I don't care as long as they give me their money. Like, Yeah, that, that's crazy. Um, what's like the ethnicity that picks you up the most? Um, whites. White people, yeah. Do you date everybody? Mm -hmm. That's cool. A lot of these girls don't date black guys. And if they don't date black guys, because they have a pimp, so. Okay. I don't have a pimp, I can do whatever I want, so yeah. So, when they have pimps, they're instructed not to date the black Yeah, guys? they're not even allowed to look at them. Okay. Even out on the streets. Like, and what is that about? Because they think of it as another pimp trying to get you, I guess you could say. They consider other black men like competition? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Are we almost done, though? <laughs> I yeah, we're going. done, we're done. All right, well, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. Are you okay with me using this on my YouTube channel? Sure. All right. I well, don't. I really do appreciate it. I try to stay it. off of that stuff. <laughs> you try to stay off social media? Um, kind of. If it's not the lines, I, the sites I use for work, I try to stay away from it. All right. Well, what kind of sites do you use? Um, mega personal, like there's a whole bunch of different sites. Like there's even sites you can pay. Like I know that they took out Backpage and all that. That's where Mega Personal is a big one. List Crawler is a big one. Like that overtook that. Okay. It's a site that connects to, like seven different sites. So damn, that's crazy. There's where well, there's a will, there's always a way, right? Yep. <laughs> all right, man. Well, thank you for this interview. I do. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you.